How's it going, YouTube? Uh, this is Wake Run Collapse. I'm going to keep looking at the viewfinder over there, but I'm going to try to look at you guys. I've never shot a video like this before. It's really strange. It's really different for me. Uh, I don't quite understand how this is all going to work because it feels like everything is backwards on what I'm looking at, and that's really strange to me. Uh, this is my 998th video, and the last 997 have been shot in a different fashion from this. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about today is Premium Champion Pack. And I've got notes behind me, and I've tried to psych myself up a whole bunch of times to be able to actually sit down and make this video and plan out exactly what I want to say, but it's just better if I start talking and kind of catch up along the way. And I have notes behind me, because my computer monitor is behind me. And I have very sparse notes, and we're just gonna... We're just gonna start talking. Okay, uh, so number one, uh, my premium champion order. I haven't actually revealed this to you guys, but... Bought a case. <laughs> Definitely bought 20 booster boxes, and I bought 8 of the Blastoise packs, too. And we'll get into, in a minute, exactly why that is important and significant. And some of you guys I know are not wild about the Premium Champion set, and I definitely think it has its drawbacks, but I think there's going to be a lot of fun that we get to have with this set. Not being able to pull an EX to break in every pack like I said we were going to. And here we are at this moment, and I have, you know, 20 booster boxes, 10 packs per box is going to be 200 EXs and breaks pulled from the set in like a week's time. And that's really cool. Uh, it's Obviously, it's a huge purchase, uh, with the boxes being more than they usually are. Uh, I'll just come right out and say it. It's... What the hell, I'll tell you. It's 850 bucks is how much the purchase is. Uh, but I know that I'm going to collect the set. I know I'm going to make ad revenue. I'm no, I know I'm going to do all these other things that I want to do. Uh, sell cards, make a lot of this back, and just have a friggin' blast with it. So I really don't mind that it is as much as it is. Uh, so that's number one, uh, the importance of the Blastoise packs, that'll, that'll come back later. Number two is behind, oh, it's my video schedule, yes, my video schedule. So, as of right now, I do not anticipate the shipment getting here on Monday. I just don't think it's going to happen, uh, and that's perfectly fine with me. It doesn't, doesn't really bother me, uh, because generally it doesn't come on Monday. Uh, generally it's a Tuesday delivery, and I am expecting a Tuesday delivery, uh, so I want to talk to you about my proposed video schedule as long as I get these on Tuesday can actually start on Tuesday, which is a whole other thing. Um, right now I want to do boxes 1 and 2 of CP4 on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday will be box 3, and then I'll do a Blastoise pack. Uh, boxes 4 and 5 will show up on Thursday. Uh, Friday is going to be a single video. It's going to be boxes 6 through 10. And then Saturday is going to be a single video and it's gonna be boxes 11 through 20. Yeah, we're gonna have probably an hour and 20 minute video in which I pull 100 EXs and breaks, which I don't think I've ever seen before as a Japanese video. I believe it exists in English. Uh, I know Jeff over at the Poke Capital has done booster cases before. I would imagine he's probably done Legendary Treasures, and that's 216 packs. He probably got 100 or more out of uh, English EXs and breaks, but I don't want to compare myself to him. I think he's awesome, and uh, we support each other, so it's certainly not like a competition that I'm trying to do. I just think it would be really fun and awesome to have a video where I have 100 EXs or breaks pulled. I don't know. I just I think that would be awesome. So I'm going to do it, and we're going to see how it works with the new camera and everything. Oh, man, look at this beard. So much smaller than it used to be. Uh, but anyways, that's my proposed video schedule as of right now. I don't know for certain that that's going to happen, but I'm going to try. Uh, that's what I'm going to shoot for. Uh, number three is over there. Yes, sale video schedule. Uh, sale video schedule is going to be different from how it usually goes in that it's going to be posted as soon as humanly possible. Uh, this is not a set with secret rares and ultra rares that are going to get spoiled. This is not a set where, oh man, what am I going to pull, or what are other people waiting for? This is a set that I need to sell cards from now. And that is the way that it is. I have 20 boxes coming. Uh, I know that most of you will not have your stuff yet, but that's part of the trickle-down effect of a sale video. When I over-purchase and get so much stuff, there's bound to be 90% of it left in a week's time. 
where people are still going to have large availability of the stuff that they need. And that's the way that it should be. I don't like selling out of stuff immediately. I like being the guy that has the stuff that people want. And that makes me sound like a drug dealer, and I don't want to sound like that. I like being able to supply the cards that people want. But I need to start it now. And I need to get the ball rolling on it now. Again, for something that I'm going to talk about later in the video. Uh, as you may or may not see in the title, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a giveaway associated with CP4. And I don't do giveaways, but Premium Champion has afforded me a very interesting opportunity. Uh, to present what I think is going to be a cool giveaway. Uh, so the video schedule that I've that I've laid out for you so far, uh, the booster boxes. There's going to be seven separate videos of Premium Champion that have booster boxes in them. Uh, box one, two, three, four, five. Uh, boxes six through ten, and then boxes eleven through twenty. So that's seven different videos. I mentioned before that the Blastoise packs are going to have. I have eight of them coming. I'm going to open one of them, but the other seven are going to be part of a very particular, amusing giveaway. Or at least I hope it is. I hope it's cool. I hope you guys like it. I keep looking at the viewfinder. Don't pay attention to that. Um, what I'm going to do is for every booster box opening video I have of uh, Premium Champion in the next week, uh, I'm going to randomly pull a comment out of the comment section. Uh, and that person is going to be entitled to the EX or Break card pulled in the associated Blastoise pack. I'm not going to be shipping Blastoise packs around the world, that's going to get really expensive really fast. We're going to do this in a fun, exciting way instead. Uh, we want to be able to provide cool cards for people. And so for a future video, we're going to have those seven packs, those seven Blastoise packs, where you've got the EX and you've got the two Awakening of Psychic Kings packs that I'm going to obviously be keeping for myself and opening and enjoying and what have you, but each one of those packs also has a premium champion pack. One single CP4 pack. And so the first giveaway winner, uh, the comment winner from box one, uh, the first uh, Blastoise pack opened in that video, uh, the EX or break that's pulled, that's theirs. Uh, I'm going to uh, notify them via YouTube private message, let them know, ask for their address so that I can send them the card, but first I'm going to pull it on camera and they get to enjoy the excitement of actually seeing that happen in the first place, of seeing the card that you're going to receive pulled in front of you and on a YouTuber's channel that you might actually enjoy a little bit, I don't know, do you find me okay, am I like a decent human being or something? Uh, and then the winner from my Box 2 video will get the second one, and so on and so forth until we open all seven. And that means that I'll be able to ship cards around the world, make it really cheap, get the best card out of the pack to you guys, and show some real appreciation for what I hope to be a really fun week uh, for a set that some people are not super jazzed about now that certain things have been revealed with the no full arts and the pretty much all reprints, but I am still super, super excited for it. And this comes to my fifth and final point from this video. It's very important that I do well with CP4. It's very important to me. It's not important for other reasons, it's just, it's just important to me. Uh, I, and I will go into more detail on this when I want to. Uh, but I'm taking the week off of work to do this, and I've never done that before. Because I'm at a point right now, uh, and again, without going into detail, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into detail. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm at a point in my life where I need to know if this is something that I can really do. This is something that I can commit myself to doing. I have 2,000 cards coming in the mail, Express from Japan. Uh, 140 of them are gonna go into my collection because you got 131 plus nine energy. I'm going to have 1,860 brand new cards for sale. And I'm going to eBay if I don't sell very quickly here. And we're going to do tiered pricing. And the most popular cards are going to be more expensive, but not that expensive. I got 20 boxes coming. Uh, and the least popular cards are going to be less expensive and a lot more accessible to you guys. 
it's really important that I give this everything I have. Because there's going to come a point in time where I look back and I say, did I give it everything that I had? And up until this point, up until right now, if I look back at the last 997 videos that I made, uh, then I didn't. I've worked hard. I've had fun. I've gotten successful to a point. But I need to know if this is something that I can do for real. And in all likelihood, it's not. Or if it's something that doesn't really interest me. Not really interest me. Because I'm always going to have fun with this channel. But I don't really see this being a career. But if this is something that I can really make hay of, that I can really make work, then there's a weird red light flashing back there. We're going to get rid of that. Off you go. Um, if this is something that I can really make happen, uh, then I have to try. And I will never forgive myself if I don't try. In a way, the fact that there are no full arts, there's not a plethora of new cards coming in CP4, makes this more interesting and challenging to me, because if I had a booster box of, say, well, a booster case of Awakening of the Psychic King, and I get, you know, the certain amount of EX pulls out of it, and there's other people collecting the set, and it takes a while to get the sale video going, and so on and so forth, and people are all jazzed for their new cards, everybody buys the EXs and the breaks and the full arts, and nobody buys the hollows, nobody buys the commons and uncommons. And... For a purchase like this, I mean, you have to be able to move cards to make it worthwhile to to say to yourself, yeah, I am definitely the kind of person who can be a source for people. Not just people who are obviously awesome and I value the crap out of that private message me on YouTube and email me at, you know, wakefrontcollapse at gmail.com uh, and and get the cards that they need, but that's a very small market. And it's also a reflection of me, because if I really wanted to just sell cards, I would be doing it on eBay. And my prices would be right around or very slightly under other people's. And I would be very impersonal, and I'd be moving cards that way. And I wouldn't really get to interact with anybody. Would that be easier? Hell yeah. Yeah, it would be easier. Uh, the the stress associated with messaging somebody back and forth 15 times uh, to figure out what $2 card it is that they actually wanted and when they're going to be able to pay uh, is a nightmare, but it's totally, totally redeemed by all the awesome people that keep coming back and are genuinely interested in Japanese cards and might have a question about something and they want to know, you know stuff about Japanese cards, or why a collection is important, or what the hell I've been doing on YouTube since October, September or October of 2012, when I started opening a Verizion promo pack that I won from Poke Eternity, and that was 997 videos ago, and now we're here at 998, and we're at this point that is, is so curious because Monday's video is going to be $9.99 and that stacks the packs and CP4 is going to be a thousand I haven't spent enough time giving back to you guys and really really giving back to you guys because I know that giveaways kind of have a little bit of a stigma and I myself am to blame for some of that stuff because I don't like the idea of somebody just participating in a channel because there are giveaways because there are freebies I want you to enjoy the content I make the content for you to enjoy it not to just throw stuff at you and have you have an opportunity to get stuff for free it's free entertainment man I'm not that horrendous I don't know maybe I am uh, the point of all of this is that I wanted to talk to you guys. I wanted you to see me. I wanted you to know that this is my voice. This is how I feel. This is this is me talking to you and like I can't I can't see you back, which is 
I mean, it's okay. Because the comment section is there, and words are made with artistic license, and you can say how you feel, or how this video made you feel, or how this channel you know, makes you feel, how excited you are or aren't for CP4, for my openings, for a sale video, uh, for all that stuff. You can, you can share that with me, even though I can't see you, even though I can't look at your lovely faces. Uh, but it's really important to me, as a person who generally does not pack it in when it comes to self-esteem, when it's someone who generally is not all that consistent with things like a YouTube channel that I abandoned for a month because I had other stuff going on uh, that I'm really trying to focus on again, that I'm trying to make work. And a whole, you know, mountain of other issues that's just not YouTube appropriate at all. There's stuff that I don't share with you, I don't share it with uh, the people I hold dearest in my life, that stuff is for me. You have stuff just for you, I need stuff that's for me. I don't need you guys to be there for me for that. Uh, I have chosen this part of my life, uh, this, this segment of my time every day and through every day, every week and month and year, uh, to dedicate to being a Japanese Poketuber. And it's not about all this other stuff. It's about the content. It's about... It's about the cards. That's what brings you guys here. It's about you being excited about what I do. And being able to join in that. And I want you to be able to join in that. And I want this next week to go really, really well. Because I've never dedicated a week where I didn't work to YouTube and Pokemon and cards. And I'm doing that now. Uh, does that mean we're going to do ridiculous games? No. Uh, does that mean that uh, things are going to change forever and that's how we're going to do things from now on? Absolutely not. I'm not taking a vacation week every time a new set comes up. But I'm doing it this time. I'm doing it this time and it matters a great deal that I really do my best. Because if you can't give your best, then you shouldn't give anything. And in comparison, I guess the last uh, three and a half years, hopefully, at the end of the, this, this coming week, I'll be able to look back and say, I didn't give anything until now. So, keep an eye out for me giving away Japanese EXs and breaks. Uh, stay tuned for the Stacks of Packs series to resume tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And, um... Thanks for everything. Press the button.